This seam that I'm gonna show you is called the self-bound seam. So I went ahead and sewed a 5 8 seam here. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take one half of the seam allowance here, maybe the one that's closest to you, and you're gonna trim that down to an eighth of an inch from the uh, seam that you did. Be careful that you don't cut your, your other seam. So maybe fold that seam back. And just make sure you feel that you, because you don't want to cut that seam. So it should look something like that. Then the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the iron and you're gonna press under like an eighth of an inch on this raw, this other seam allowance. And you're gonna press that. So I'm gonna go to the iron real quick and press that. I'll be right back. Okay, so I, I'll show you what I did. I turned under that raw edge, which is an eighth of an inch. And then I also, I pressed that seam um, where, the, where the stitching is, I pressed that so it folds over like so. Then you're going to stitch close to this edge right here. Okay, so that's what it looks like there and on the back. So what you're going to do is um, I'll staple that on there. And this is called the self-bound seam. And this is good for um, your note section. You're gonna, it's, good, it's good for lightweight fabrics that do not ravel easily. This is what you would use this for.